everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to create system A.io contact on Razorpay payment with custom field. So I am an owner of a business and I'm selling online educational courses with the help of Razorpay. So my objective is that, that whenever I'm going to receive a payment by any of my customers, when they are going to purchase the product with the help of Razorpay, automatically I want to create a contact of that same customer in my system A.io with custom fields. For that, what we are going to do is we're going to simply create an automation between Razorpay and system io with the help of pabli connect so if you want to learn how to do this amazing automation then let me take you all to my screen in this video we're going to learn how to create system io contact on razor pay payments with custom fields so i am an owner of a business and i sell educational online educational courses with the help of razor pay so my objective is that that whenever any of my customer is going to purchase the educational course with the help of razor pay and their payment is going to be done automatically a contact of that same customer should be created in my system a.io account for that what we are going to do is we are going to simply create an auto Automation between Razorpay and SystemA.io with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen you can see the website of Pabli Connect that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website we need to sign in to our Pabli Connect account. But if you are a new user you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I am an existing user I am going to sign in to my Pabli Connect account. After signing in you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see the 5 apps applications of Pabli from which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on access now then Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on this top right corner button right over here that says create workflow. Then a dialog box is going to appear which is asking for a workflow name. So I'm going to give a name to my workflow as create system A.io contact on raise a pay payment with custom field. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. Okay. Next over here, it is asking for us to select a folder. So on the left side of my screen you can see I have created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I am going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. For that click on this drop down arrow and these are the folders from which I am going to select Razor Pay Automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After giving a name to a workflow and selecting the folder let's click on create in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of create system A.io contact on Razor Pay payment with custom fields and there are two windows in front of you. One over here says trigger, other says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts. Over here trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. Firstly, what we are going to do is we are going to set up our trigger step for that click on this arrow right over here and for the trigger application we are going to select it as razor pay so i'm going to select my trigger application as razor pay and for the trigger event i'm going to select it as payment captured as our objective is that, that whenever a payment is going to be successful in our razor pay by any of our customers automatically that payment should be captured by Pabli connect that is why for the trigger application we have selected it as razor pay and for the trigger event as payment captured okay after selecting the trigger application and the event in order to connect Razor Pay to Pabli Connect. Pabli Connect has provided us with a webhook URL. With the help of this unique webhook URL, we are going to connect Pabli Connect to Razor Pay. We are going to copy this URL from here first and then you have to follow the steps given here below in the help desk in order to connect Razor Pay to Pabli Connect. Firstly, you need to open your Razor Pay account. As you can see that this is my Razor Pay account right over here. And to connect Razor Pay to Pabli Connect, we have to click on this accounts and settings button right over here on the left side of the panel. And after selecting it over here, it says webhooks. We are going to click on it. As soon as you to click on webhooks, webhook page is going to appear over here it says add new webhook we are going to click on it after clicking on add new webhook this window is going to appear firstly it is asking for the webhook url so i'm going to paste the webhook url that Pabli connect has provided us after that over here it is asking for the action events in the help desk it says from action events we have to select payment captured as we want the response of every payment that is going to be captured by razor pay so for the payment events we are going to select over here as payment captured and then we are going to click on create webhook 
as you can see that over here it says web book saved successfully that means we have successfully added a web book in our razor pay account if i'm going to take you back to the workflow over here it is saying waiting for web book response so now what we are going to do is we're going to do a test payment with the help of razor pay and we're going to check whether public can it captures the response of the test payment that we're going to do or not for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to open a razor pay account over here we have to click on payment pages right over here after clicking on payment pages these are the pages in my razor pay account from which i'm going to select java notes for professionals right over here as i'm selling this course to my customers with the help of razor pay so this is the payment page of java notes for professional and the payment that we are going to do with the help of razor pay is going to be a test payment because my razor pay account is in a test mode as you can see right over here okay and how we're going to do the test payment over here you can see the page urls provided we're going to copy this url from here and we're going to open this url in a new tab right over here as you can see that this is the payment page for java notes for professionals right over here over here it says test modes that means that we are going to only do the test payments with the help of this page okay firstly over here it is asking for the payment for i'm going to select it as java notes for the amount i'm going to select it as 399 right over here after the amount it is asking for the quantity i'm going to write over here as one next over here it is asking for the name for the name of a customer i'm going to write it as dummy test one two three so this is the name of my customer for the email over here, I'm going to write it as dummy test one two three at the rate publitudes.com. For the phone number over here, I'm going to write in a dummy mobile number. And it is asking for the GST, but as it is optional, so I'm going to skip the part, okay? After filling all the details, I'm going to click on pay three ninety nine. For the method of payment, I'm going to select it as card. And for the card number over here, I'm going to write in a dummy card number. For the expiry over here, I'm going to write in a dummy expiry. For the card holder's name over here, I'm going to write it as dummy test one two three, and for the CVV, I'm going to write in a dummy CVV, and I'm going to click on pay now. As you can see that over here it says the payment of three ninety nine is successful. That means the payment that we have done with the help of Razor Pay is successful for Java notes for professionals. So now I'm going to open my Public Connect account and I'm going to check whether Public Connect has captured the response of this test payment that we have done with the help of Razor Pay or not. For that I'm going to open my Public Connect account. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to wait for a few seconds. After a few seconds over here response is going to be received and if you're going to tally the response I'm going to scroll down. It is the payment for Java notes. That is the course that we are selling with the help of Razor Pay. For the phone number, it received the customer's dummy mobile number. For the name as dummy test one two three. Email as dummy test one two three at the rate publitudes dot com. For the method being as card right over here. For the ID, the payment ID right over here. Entity as payment. The email address again. It has the detail of the card ID and all the other details. So this means that we successfully created a connection between Razor Pay and Public Connect and that. Trigger setup is done. So now, whenever a payment is going to be done with the help of Razor Pay, automatically Public Connect is going to capture the response. With the help of Razor Pay, I am collecting multiple payments with the help of multiple payment pages that I have created in my Razor Pay account. But I just want to create the contact of that person who is going to do the payment for Java Notes Professional Payment Page only. So what we are going to do is we are going to set up our action step, and for the action application, we are going to select it as Filter by Public with the help of this. Amazing feature by Public Connect. We can filter the values according to our requirement. For the action event, I'm going to select it as filter values, and then I'm going to click on connect. After clicking on connect over here, it is asking for us to select a label. As for the label, I'm going to select it as the payment for Java Notes, so that whenever the payment is going to be done just for the Java Notes payment page, then only this workflow should continue. So that is why for the payment notes, I've selected as Java Notes right over here. For the filter type, I'm going to select it as equal to, and for the value over here i'm going to write over here as java notes okay this means that whenever the notes payment for is going to be equal to java notes then only is this workflow going to continue and then i'm going to click on save and send test request after setting up the filter and as we have done that over here we are going to receive a response for the message over here it says the condition is true that means the condition of the filter that we have applied over here is true right over here okay and the status is success that means we have successfully added a filter in this workflow so now whenever a payment is going to be done for the paid java notes only 
then this workflow is going to continue okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to add in the action step as we want that whenever a payment is going to be done by any of our customers for the paid java nodes then a contact should be created in my system a.io for that i have added another action step in this workflow by clicking on this plus button and for the action application over here we are going to select it as system a.io and for the action event we are going to select it as create contact with custom field because we want to create a contact of the customer with the custom fields okay that's why we're selecting our action event as create contact with custom field and then we're going to click on connect in order to connect system a.io to pably connect a new window is going to appear on which click on add new connection but if you want you can select the existing connection after that over here it is asking for the api key with the help of this api key we are going to connect system a.io to pably connect and how we're going to have the access of the api key for that follow the steps given here below in the help desk for having the access of the api key you have to open our system a.io account as you can see that this is my system a.io account and for having the access of the api key you have to click on this profile button right over here and then on settings right over here as soon as you could do that you will be landed to this page on the left side of our screen over here it says public api keys we're going to click on it as soon as you to click on public api keys over here it says create we're going to click on it for the name of the api key i'm going to give it as test api key and then i'm going to click on save right over here as you can see that an api key is created i'm going to copy this key from here and i'm going to paste the key right over here and then i'm going to click on save as you can see that system a.io is successfully connected to pably connect after connecting firstly it is asking for the email address for the email address what we are going to do is we are going to map the data mapping means inserting data from the previous step so we are going to insert the data from the previous step of this workflow and how we're going to do that as soon as you're going to click on this field right over here you can see these were the previous step of this workflow and if you're going to click on this arrow this was the response that was captured in our previous step as over here it is asking for the email address i'm going to select the data of the email address of the response that you have received in a previous step of our customer as i selected the data right over here the data is mapped and as i map the data the data has now become dynamic that means whenever a new response is going to be captured in a previous step automatically in place of this map data the new data is going to be updated okay next over here it is asking for the first name and the last name for the first name over here what we are going to do is we are going to map the data again in the response you can see that we have received the name of our customer the full name that is dummy test one two three but we want the first name and the last name of our customer so what we are going to do is we are going to add another action step in this workflow right over here and for the action application we are going to select it as text format or by pably it is an amazing feature by pably that is going to help us to format the text according to our requirement for the action event i'm going to select it as split text and then i'm going to click connect right over here after click on connect it is asking for us to select the text that we want to split for this text that we want to split is the name of our customer so i'm going to map the date of the name of our customer right over here next it is asking for the separator with the help of which separator we're going to split this text over here the help desk it is saying that for space we have to write over here as double curly bracket space so i'm going to copy the space from here as we want to split the text with the help of the space of this name right over here so i'm going to select the separator as space and for the segment index i'm going to select it as all and then i'm going to click on save and set test request as we have done that we are going to receive a response and the result we have received the first tape that is dummy and the last tape that is test one two three so now what we are going to do is we are going to map this result that we have received in our previous step for the first name as big dummy and for the last name as test one two three okay next it is asking for the phone number so i'm going to map the data of the phone number that we have received in our previous step it is asking for all these details as they are not require field so i'm going to skip the part but if you want you can enter the details according to your requirement lastly over here it is asking for the source the source is the custom field that we are going to add to this contact right over here for the source over here i'm going to write it as razor pay because we are creating this contact with the help of the razor pay payment being successful okay so that is why for the custom field i've selected as source and i've written it as razor pay after filling all the details i'm going to click on save and set test request as we have done that over here you can see we have received a response and the response that we have received is a positive response so now i'm going to open my system a.io account and i'm going to check whether a contact is added to my system a.io account or not for that i'm going to open my system a.io account i'm going to refresh this page 
after refreshing the page you can see over here contact is added to my system a.io account i'm going to open this contact with the name as first name as dummy last name as test123 email as dummy test123 at the rate pablitudes.com and for the source being razor pen for the phone number dummy mobile number so this means that we successfully created an automation between razor pay and system a.io with the help of pabli connect but now for if you guys what i'm going to do is i'm going to do another payment with the help of razor pay and i'm going to check whether the customer who have done the payment the contact of that customer is created in my system a.io account or not for that i'm going to open my razor pay payment page as you can see that this is my razor pay payment page and to do the payment you have to copy this link from here and open this link in a new tab right over here so this is the test payment page over here for java notes for professionals as you can see and we are going to do a test payment by filling the details first so i'm going to fill in the details right over here so i filled in all the details for the payment for as java notes amount as 399 quantity as 2 name as smart test 12345 email as smart test 12345 at the rate pablitudes.com and for the phone number dummy mobile number after that i'm going to click on pay for the method of payment i'm going to select it as card and i'm going to fill in the card details right over here as you can see over here it says the payment is successful as now the payment is successful i'm going to open a system a.io account and i'm going to check whether a new contact is created in my system a.io account or not for that i'm going to open a system a.io account i'm going to refresh this page of contacts as i've refreshed the page you can see over here a new contact is created in my system a.io account i'm going to open this contact for the name of the contact as first name as bart last name as test one two three four five email as bart test one two three four five at the rate pablitudes.com for the phone number time mobile number and for the source as razor pay so this means that we fully created an automation between razor pay and system a.io with the help of pabli connect so now to sum up till now what we have done i am an owner of a business and i sell educational courses with the help of razor pay and my objective is that that whenever i'm going to receive a new payment by any of my customers while purchasing the educational course with the help of razor pay automatically that customer should be created as a contact in my system a.io account for that we have created this amazing automation between razor pay and system a.io with the help of pabli connect so if you like this video please do subscribe to our channel hit on the like button comment on below if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video Not just with these applications, you can create automation with the help of Pabli Connect between multiple applications. If you have any doubts, you can send us email on support at the rate pabli dot com. If you have any queries, you can ask your queries on forum dot pabli dot com. If you have any queries regarding the pricing of Pabli Connect, then you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions and doubts, and please share this video. And thank you for watching.